Hey y'all, um, it is your Uncle Timmy here again. Um, I've had a request to uh, make sure that I do a uh, video with um, my new purple hair. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to do this and I got my coffee that is laced with a little bit of uh, Kahlua. It have whiskey but I drank that days ago. Anyway, um, that's beside the point. I want to talk about something that I've been reading and um, um, a friend of mine actually mentioned it one time in, in a posting just a couple of days ago and it's um, gender essentialism. And I was thinking, what the hell? Um, Michael throws these things out to me um, periodically. Um, well, he throws it out and then I read them and so I think that he's teaching me and essentially he does but I was thinking what the hell is gender essentialism and um, to break it down from what I've been studying the last couple of days this is all stuff that I've been putting together just the last couple of days um, gender essentialism is that um, boys are boys and girls are girls and the two shall never mix they you know they won't there's no blending. It's it's um, a boy is masculine, strong, um, works on cars, and a girl is feminine and weak and wears ribbons and lace. And to think that they cross or when they cross, then um, um, if you've got a butch girl, then you've ob obviously um, have a dyke. And if you have a femme guy, obviously you have a homo. And frankly, it's gross. That that type of thinking, I'm, I'm bringing it all down because, I mean, from what I've been reading, it's really heavy stuff and I'm kind of breaking it down and I'm going to be making jokes. I'm not going to be too serious because, frankly, I think gender essentialism is probably about the stupidest thing our culture can do. And unfortunately, we've been doing it for a very, very long time, and it's not worth it. Um, but many people seem to think that um, our transgender brothers and sisters prove that gender essentialism exists. And I think actually just the opposite. In fact, I think just the fact that we have... LGBTQ people in the world proves that gender essentialism is really foolish. And we, gender essentialism basically takes gender and sex and kind of blends the two. If, if you have a penis, then you're strong and, and you're masculine and you want to you want to fuck a woman and make babies and if you have a vagina then you want to have a man fuck you and you want to make babies and um, feed them from your breasts. That's pretty much what I've been getting from my study of gender essentialism and it's foolish. Um, guys want to wear um, Carhartts and flannel. Now, granted, Carhartts and flannel are pretty hot. So, I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to deny that. I don't mind looking at a at a lumber sexual guy with a nice heavy beard and wearing flannel and Carhartts. Yeah, that's hot. <clears throat> and women want to wear high heels and pearls all the time. Um, it's just a foolish social. Um, ignorant um, thing that we do in our society. It's foolish. Um, and basically, I said all of that, and, and I'm talking about this because I want you younger folks to really understand something. There is a reason why I have purple hair. There's a reason why during June I get rid of any kind of color I go completely blonde and then I do rainbow in my hair um, for the whole month of June 
Um, there's a reason why if um, the last two years when the Seahawks went to the Super Bowl, I did blue and green in my hair. The whole reason is this. I like my hair and I love color and I love to be expressive and I'm not I'm not a dude who wants to have um, really short cropped hair a buzz cut and all of that I'm not a dude who who typically wears um, flannel and Carhartts um, if you see me in jeans um, I will typically have a button-up shirt and will um, will be wearing a tie or or a bow tie or I'll be doing something that is, um, I, I do a lot of juxtaposition with my clothing. Um, um, sometimes I wear eyeliner, sometimes I won't. Um, so, so the thing is, is that when, when we talk about what a man is or what a woman is, I think that we're really limiting humanity when we do that. We are more than we are more than the sum of our parts. Um, men are more than penises. Women are more than vaginas, and we have to remember this. We have to really understand that each one of us is a human being. And I want you all, especially you younger ones, to know you're more than the sum of your parts. And frankly, I'm just going to say it, guys. If you want to wear a skirt and a blouse. Freaking put a skirt and a blouse on. It's it's clothes for crying out loud. It's just a bunch of fabric. That's all it is. Girls, you want to wear Carhartts and, and flannel? Frankly, you might look pretty hot too. And this is coming from an old gay guy. Um, so it's no big deal. And why is it more acceptable for a woman to wear Carhartts and flannel than it is for a guy to put on a blouse and a, and a skirt? I want to pose that question to you. Y'all can answer down below in the comment section why you feel that, why you think society looks at it that way. A woman can wear a pair of Carhartts and it doesn't even seem to phase the world. A guy walks down the street in a skirt and a blouse and suddenly he's, he's freak city. We should have the same amount of freedom to wear what we want to wear, what we're comfortable wearing. If we want to gender fuck, we should be able to gender fuck um, without people looking at us askance. Women do it all the time, flannel and car hearts. Um, so, so let's let's work on each one of us individually, really understanding who we are as an individual. I walk around Longview with my purple hair in the summertime. I walked around Longview with my rainbow mohawk. And I think I got maybe two um, not-so-good compliments. Um, okay, they were actually insults. But um, for the most part, anybody who saw it loved it. Why? Because it's different, because it's expressive, because it is... It is really seriously who I am. I am, I am very queer, and not just because I'm gay, but because I like to do things that are not the norm. Um, there is a reason why we have the Q and the LGBTQ um, initials. It's because there are many of us who are queer. We don't fall into the we don't fall into the masculine male role and we don't fall into the feminine female role. We don't fall into the femme male role and we don't fall into the butch female role. We are queer. We, we like to do the gender fucking and gender fucking, as far as I'm concerned, is a whole lot of fun. Put that eyeliner on if you want to, guys. Wear the car hearts if you want to, girls. Get underneath the hood of a car and work on the car if you want to. Um, why does it matter what society says we should be doing? So, the reason I have this 
is because I gotta be me. I wore I I wore my hair with a light blonde um, mohawk for a while and kept the sides all you know natural color and everything. And I decided I can't do it anymore. I did it for several months. I'm just done. I gotta go with with a bizarre color. And I know that um, I know that currently trending is um, what they call in the profession um, merman hair um, and um, where it's really bright colors guys guys typically the lumber sexuals that have the really nice beards and everything they're coloring the beards the same color or they're doing um, an opposite color to match their hair but it's all bright and that type of thing um, particularly you see it more in the big cities um, but but it is it is a trend um, with us guys right now I'm a hairstylist I'm in the fashion industry so I'm gonna do this um, so we need to we need to understand that we are simply human beings and we all are very different we all are supposed to be creative creatures to begin with so be creative be who you are and fuck society norms and frankly gender essentialism can go the way of the dinosaurs as far as i'm concerned it's it's not applicable in our society today we are far too um we are far too progressed and far too evolved in our society to really stick with the gender norms, with gender essentialism. We're far too evolved to be buying trucks for boys and dolls for girls. Um, we need to we need to find out what they're interested in. There might be a boy out there who is more interested in princess dolls and and dresses than them with the Tonka truck and there's probably girls out there well I'm I'm not gonna just hold it at probably there are girls out there who are more interested in the Tonka trucks and um, Lincoln logs than um, Ariel and and tiaras so allow your children to express who they are and you guys and girls who are younger in the younger generation 20s and 30s even teens if you're part of um, give them hope as as a teen express who you are and be who you are and feel free to do that you you are autonomous creatures you are you are not you are not bound by society laws um, you will come up against some some negative thought but surround yourself with people who are supportive and and let them know this is what you want to do you want to color your hair in a bright bright color you want to have teal hair um, <clears throat> but you also want to make sure that that they're going to be supportive of you so that when something does happen or somebody does come up against you then at least you have some backing okay um, I have a lot of backing I have a lot of support in just about everything I do um, so I'm not afraid to do this kind of stuff I'm not afraid to um, put some eyeliner on I'm not even afraid to wear wears women's clothing I do drag all the time and I've done I've gone out and drag um, here in Longview um, on well basically basically for Halloween but um, there have been a couple of times when I've actually gone out just to go out and drag because people wanted to meet my drag persona and you know what people out there are a whole lot more accepting and a whole lot more supportive when you are confident enough to be who you are be confident be who you are 
and really, really embrace the Q in the LGBTQ community. Be queer. Be just as, as original as you possibly can be. Um, and that is going to then boost your confidence even more. I'm going to stop there um, just because I can go on and on and on. But um, you can more than likely expect that I'm going to be making a couple of more videos in the next few days. I'm, uh, I'm in the process of doing a whole bunch of other stuff, in the process of thinking about a whole bunch of other stuff, in the process of learning a whole bunch of other stuff. And, of course, we've got the Monday um, Iowa caucuses. I'm more than likely going to have something to say about those. So, um, anyway, y'all have a good Saturday, and know that your Uncle Timmy loves you. Bye-bye.